So for everyone out there that thinks that their life is just in shambles and woe is me and poor fucking me, well, guess what? Boo fucking who? Imagine waking up every day or even the night before. And having to deal with a party popper, which is what I call it, like this. All you people that get to do your little morning pisses, well, enjoy it. Because when you can't do it no more, that simple little gesture of taking a fucking piss in the morning time ain't nothing like that first morning piss. Sometimes that's even better than sex. But if you're having a bad day and you're depressed and boo-hoo, I want to cut my fucking wrist or some shit like that. Well, one, if you want to cut your wrist, quit going sideways. You got to go up and down you stupid motherfuckers, and go ahead and do it. If you need help, guidance, direction of the knife or the razor blade for you, because I'm sick of hearing you depressed ass motherfuckers, go ahead and fucking do it already. My own mother kept the same fucking bullshit talk all the time. I got fucking tired of it. There's only so much depression, suicide, woe is fucking me type attitude motherfuckers out there that this world has too much to offer. Or check this out. See this? This is the only way I stay alive. And every morning I wake up. Do I, am I depressed? No. Not one single bit. I fucking love life. I absolutely love me. And God gave me my life even though I didn't really care about it before, I was depressed. I understand a little bit, but if you don't wake the fuck up and do something about it, fuck you. You're a pussy ass little bitch and go ahead and die. If that's what you want, go ahead and do it. Quit fucking making other people cry for you. Quit making other people f try to feel sorry for you because I sure as fuck don't. Ain't nobody gonna out out there feeling sorry for me. Ain't nobody ain't nobody even trying to help a motherfucker like me. I sit here on a fucking machine every fucking night. And what does that say? And of therapy? Or end your therapy? What kind of choices are you going to make in life? You're going to go around being depressed on a bunch of bullshit that don't make no goddamn sense. It doesn't fucking matter enough. If you got kids, wake the fuck up. What are you going to teach them that the way that you think is the right way. Let everyone else battle all of your, fight all of your battles for you. Ask people like me for money. When I have enough to worry about. You see this? Let me, let me give you a little, let me give you a little insight on how your life could really be. And 
I'm not asking for no kind of sympathy. Don't fucking feel sorry for me. You feel sorry for me, I'm going to tell you to fuck off. That's that's really what I'm going to do. Don't nobody need to feel sorry for me. I live an absolutely wonderful and great life. I love God. And right there in that bed is where we talk every single night. And he gives me my days. But look at this. Do you see all them boxes? All of that stuff, all of them boxes, all the medical supplies, and bam. That is how you stay alive. These bags, that machine, end of therapy, and this hose, that's how I go to the bathroom. Because it goes straight to the toilet. So there's a benefit to all of this. I don't even have to get up and take a piss at nighttime. It just goes to the toilet for me. So what you think about that? Feel sorry for me now? Your ass got to get the fuck up and walk to that shit. And you might be too comfortable in bed. You don't even want to get up. I don't have to. Now, would I trade to get up to go to the bathroom to take a fucking piss? Probably. Then I wouldn't have to do that shit no more. But it is what it is. I'm going to live my life and I'm going to love it. I'm going to love every single day that God gives me. So when you go around trying to feel sorry for yourself and getting other people to feel sorry for you and to get other people like me to send you fucking money that nine times out of ten more than likely I don't even have because I do too much stuff I enjoy life I don't go to work to save my money so don't sit over there thinking that I have some fucking money here for you to ask for I give and help people as I see it when my heart tells me to do something for somebody, I do it. There is no strings attached. There is nothing. But when you come asking me, and you haven't even bothered to even try to know me, message me, or anything whatsoever, and you have the audacity to ask somebody like me, regardless if it's me or not, anybody, you ask them for money, you begging motherfuckers, Get your fuck ass up and go fucking work for something. Go get it yourself. Quit being a little bitch and a fucking beggar and a fucking bum. And if you are going to be a beggar and a bum, at least be man up to it, woman up to it. Say, I'm a fucking bum. I'm a professional bum. And all I want to do is ask motherfuckers for money because I don't feel like I need to do anything. And then, you know, I might actually give you something because you're actually being honest. But don't take this fucking thing right here that I'm saying and come back at me today and say, I'm a professional bum, duh, 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 duh. Well, you said it on that video. Well, I'm going to tell you to fuck off and stick this right up a couple of places that you might actually enjoy. Do you like me now? And do you want to ask me for anything else be careful I'm very nice I'm very kind I have a big heart and I have a lot to offer to a lot of people but if you if I feel that you're taking advantage of me I'm going to tell you to take your own fucking broomstick and stick it so far up your goddamn ass where it sticks out your fucking esophagus and busts out your teeth from the inside out. If you think I'm playing, joking, or I'm just trying to say this to sound or look cool, no. I'm tired of people's weak fucking asses. 
I'm a mama's boy, so don't ever get me wrong when I say this, but she's fucking weak. She committed suicide. My grandkids don't have a grandmother anymore because of that. And I don't feel a damn bit sorry for her. Do I want my mom back? Yes, every single day. Do I want my kids to have a grandmother? Yes. Do I want my my actual grandson could have seen and spent time with his great grandmother? But she was so selfish. She took her own fucking life. So it's not that she took her own self away. She took me, my kids, my kids' kids relationship away with what sh they could have had with their grandmother, their great grandmother, or my own mother. I will not be depressed. I won't let life get me down. I enjoy it way too much. And this machine right here actually is much better than the treatments going into a clinic because now when I wake up, like right now, I can do whatever the fuck I want to now. Every single day, instead of worrying about going to a clinic for a treatment for three and a half hours, three days a week, and feeling sick after all of it. This machine doing it at nighttime for nine hours, but I'm sleeping. When I wake up, it's done. But doing it this way, it's healthier for me. I have more energy. I can do more things. I'm happier, so on and so forth. So me having a little party popper coming out of my belly, if you wanna take judgment on me, well, again, that broomstick, yeah. Repeat back to that. But all in all, try to have a good day. Don't think about things so bad because it could be, uh, you could have a, a, a new necklace if you, if you really want it, you know? I mean, it's a pretty, uh, doesn't smell but at the beginning of the night it's not exactly the same color it does change because your uh your urine is not clear most of the time not not when it's been sitting in you all day so just think about that every time you get depressed every time you want to tell somebody you want to kill yourself you want to slice your wrist and boo fucking who cry up a fucking river just realize that, you know, life could be a hell of a lot worse and that your life may not be quite as bad. And if it is, wake the fuck up and get the fuck out. Quit being a little bitch and complaining about it. Because if you keep complaining about stuff, people like me, you're telling me that you just want to be in that situation because you like the fucking, uh, you like all the attention. You like you may not like getting beat, but you like the attention from it. Because if you didn't, you'd get the fuck out. Don't use these as excuses as, oh, I love him, or I love her, or my kids, and uh, 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 uh. Well, keep getting beat, motherfucker. Keep getting cheated on. Keep getting fucking uh, slapped in the face. Keep getting all that shit. But remember, you got some little eyes if you got kids and they're watching every single bit of that and you're teaching them every single day what to do and what not to do think about it don't put their life or your life at risk anymore do something live life to the fullest because you ain't got another one after this I love who I am I make all kinds of bad decisions I'm not the smartest person in the world But I'm a grade A graduate when it comes to street. Not too much from books. <clears throat> I am a street person and I know how to survive and I know how to live life.
and I know what's worth it and what isn't. That's long enough.